for me a student of the year definitely was a recognition that was much awaited so for me it changed everything i couldn't process it for almost 10 seconds before i reacted and it, i knew it was a reality and when it happened everything that uh, followed was just in the pursuit of student of the year so yes it meant a lot it made me who i am and i was like what if i don't win body literally shaking shivering my hands were shivering at that time so there's something called as accidental success which is not planned for me a uh, student of the year was more like an incidental success Hello everyone. Welcome back to the latest episode of IRI Talks podcast powered by GIBS Business School Bangalore. Today we have one of a known personality of GIBS. I would say Ms. Palak Bansal. Palak is just not a student, but she's also a student of the year. So Palak, welcome back to Thank GIBS. You so much, sir. It's really nice to have you with us once again. So Palak, I have first of all congratulations of being a student of the year. Uh, so i have a personal question to you palak uh, what do you think what is the recognition it means to you after being gibs student of the year thank you so much sandeep sir for the warm welcome and it's always a pleasure to come back to the college well for me a student of the year definitely was a recognition that was much awaited so for me it changed everything it put me in that light of being just a student to becoming student of the year and yes it was very emotional it was a mix of all the emotions when i was there on the stage as well i couldn't process it for almost 10 seconds before i reacted and it, i knew it was a reality so uh, during my speech also i've mentioned that this was a dream from the day that i've stepped in gips so first month of gips i was a normal student i did not have that goal of being the student of the year but then it happened and when it happened everything that uh, followed was just in the pursuit of student of the year so there was a goal and then when it happened in reality it was much more than just that so yes it meant a lot it made me who i am it gave a lot of uh, learnings that would stay with me it it uh, it empowered me as a person at the same time it renewed me as a person my thinking changed my thought process changed the way i reacted to things everything changed after that so yes it means a lot wow that's that's really nice i must say so once when we say that you've been student of the year i'm sure it carries a lot of emotions right so what do you think how was your emotion at that moment and i i could see since your parents were really very very emotional especially your mom i would say So what's what's your take on that how do you feel about it It definitely was a very emotional uh, moment I clearly remember when the event was announced I was there back in Mumbai with my family and this notification popped up that student of the year is coming up and I remember we were all seated uh, my family me my dad my mom my brother and uh, I told them mom I think a student of the year is coming up but I'm not sure if I want to go if I want to show up um and it's that moment where she said no you should why don't you want to go and i was like what if i don't win i show up and i don't win that pressure that that fear of not winning that made me somewhere uh, lose track of what all i have done what all i have been through and it was my parents who supported me so uh, she was like it's okay if you don't win someone will and you need to be there you need to be there because you need to show up you sitting here being afraid of not winning is definitely a loss so you need to go out there and then yes uh, the evening of the event i and my entire family we show up and the most uh, cherishable moment that i'll never forget is when the nominations were happening there were three nominations that have passed on the screen i wasn't there on the list and it was a top 10 list so that fear of not being in the top 10 what if it was all you know me thinking that yes i am going to be there but 
yes that did not happen and suddenly as soon as this picture showed up on the screen from the nominations the entire auditorium cheered when i was there on the stage in the top 2 again i could hear the people uh, filling up that whole auditorium with the cheer of my name and that on the stage i was shaking that what if it's her what if it's not to me because everyone being so supportive and then you don't win that pressure that social pressure that social uh, anxiety of not making it uh, up till their expectation that was so much that when that arm was raised i could i could feel my uh, body literally shaking shivering my hands were shivering at that time and it was a very emotional moment altogether because even today when i go back and i think about that entire evening it is that one moment wherein that auditorium was filled with palak bansal's name and that is something which made me emotional second thing was my parents being there so when my parents were there my mom she was crying and my dad somehow he was emotional it could be very visible on his face but he held back and when i was giving my thank you speech i generally don't cry on stage i i am very uh, emotionally strong that way but i couldn't hold back i had a breakdown in that moment and that's where i knew it's reality and it was an overall it was i think a very uh, bumpy ride for me because all those one and a half year two year whatever i've done all of the, that moment just played through my head and when that happened it was like flashback 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 and i didn't know how to express how more grateful could i be but it definitely did something uh, which made me so emotional and yes i mean the journey has been amazing before that after that in that moment everything was amazing i i to be very frank i get goosebumps when we when we hear that you know the entire audience is applauding for somebody and the parents it's a proud moment for any parent for that matter it would say so could you tell me more about your journey from just being a student and then there was a complete transformation what made you to get into the student of the year what was the thought process going behind it so there is something called as accidental success which is not planned for me a uh, student of the year was more like an incidental success there was uh, this one incident where in our friend of uh, mine uh, they kind of uh, challenged that you know yeah you can win anything that you want but student of the year will be mine and that is the day like it was there in the back of my head but it never was on the priority list my priority list was always have fun study only enough to get passed in your examinations and be done with education like don't miss out on life for education and then it happened like finally when this incident happened it occurred in my life that is when it just pricked that no this is something which is good it is good to have but again i never saw myself in the toppers list i was always a good enough student but never the best of them all so sorty for me student of the year was something um, which is for toppers so i'll never make it till there but then i had this professor who was also my mentor and he came and he's like um, but like what's your plan for student of the year and i'm like what plans no plans uh, why would i even think about it i don't think i make it even to the list close to student of the year and he's like let's have a chat after your lectures and he called me in we had a 45 minutes of uh, talk wherein he had a presentation with some uh, 20 milestones that is the journey of student of the year he shared all those milestones with me and while i was listening the only thought process which went in my head was this is doable i also can do this this is also doable then why am i not doing it and that is where it happened that oh is it this what it takes to be student of the year is it me being lazy and not interested let's give it a shot that is where that entire journey transformed for me because now i had a goal and that goal was not just to graduate and come out of college it was to win 
it was to be out there and become that somebody so my journey of a student to student of the year was suddenly all about becoming somebody for me it was a little different because i come with a work experience okay. so when that happened it's a completely different transition from a professional to a student life again again back to student life yes so that's a most difficult transition to be very honest okay and then you know you're not open into that student mindset so if someone says one thing you're already on fire like how no that's not done and that took me some time amazing amazing palaka like i would say that this is really amazing because as uh, one more thing one more question comes to my mind when you say you being an exemplary student what kind of balancing you need to rethink about it in when it comes to responsibilities when it comes to activity the activities or uh, academics at the same time you have friends also where you have to enjoy with them as well so what do you think how did you balance all these things what i believe in is it's very important to balance and this is something you know um, as an as a student it's very difficult to understand at this age but again as i said this is something that i continue to believe in that if you do something in the right proportion it really doesn't matter what you're doing because you'll never go out of balance and generally there is this notion that when you're competing when you're in a race your 100% focus should be on that race itself on winning it or you know giving your best i remember there was a professor uh, of mine who once said you know sometimes you can win or you can do things without giving your 100% because it might just require 20% of you and you're just waiting uh, wasting your 80% that thing stuck with me that that is what balance is all about you need to understand do you really require to give your 100% or can you do it with the 50% and you can do it the best i think it's very important to balance because generally there is this notion that you know if you are in a race you have to leave everything aside what i always believed in and i continue to believe in that is the right proportion if you are doing anything in the right proportion it doesn't matter what you are doing. doing you won't ever go out of balance and that's what exactly i did <laughs> So our lectures uh, they used to be until 4:30 and for most it's a torture because sitting through five different classes one one hour and you know there's a lot of pressure that builds up one professor comes in teaches one thing second comes in especially uh, statistics and business analytics were my majors so that was like a lot of uh, pressure on me but when you have the right set of people it becomes a lot easier so my friends again a uh, lot of credit goes to them we were a bunch of four people and we would occupy the first bench in the class even if we were absent no one would sit there and uh, sitting on the first bench is generally the most taboo thing correct we had the most fun there we have done everything that a last bench it does and we have done it better i think it, it also recollects my thoughts when it comes to say as a first bencher and the last bencher uh, fortunately i was also the first bencher <laughs> and what not kind of fun we have done there It's, it's not always that okay only the studios with high glasses yes. uh, to be seated in the first row so i completely agree with you when you say yes it's always what you take and i think i had very supportive group of friends i had very supportive family and faculties so my life was made a little easier because when i participated in fests i would be day in day out working for that and there was no time i would be working round the clock and when that happened i was missing on the lectures or i would miss on my academics not only my friends supported me with okay this is what happened in the class today you need to uh, gear up for this one this is coming up this is the test but also my faculties they were always open to me asking them questions because they know that maybe i was not there i was involved in some or the other thing and that uh, made it easier for me to balance because as a student there's so much happening around me and on the top of it now i have a goal so i have to make a nice blend of everything and make sure that i'm not missing out on life as well so it's not that i was always studying studying and you know just continuously studying day in day out i went out i went out with my friends i went out partying i i enjoyed all the fest that happened in the college despite being in the organizing committee but then when it channelized into that one, one title party. everyone could see it okay this is what it is this is all rounded this is not all over the place so i think yes that perspective also changed a lot a lot in me 
amazing that that's why they say you know uh, one should have the right direction where they have to re- reach for themselves right if you don't have the destination you're just running all around yes. and you would reach nowhere yes right so that's that's really amazing but now many a times you haven't come you might have come across where the students is uh, tk award you got an award and things that's okay but i am little curious to know more about you were also been awarded with a cash prize which was quite a big amount i was a 51000 if i'm not wrong yes yes so how how did you spend that how did you utilize that funds honestly i'm actually not a very big uh, spender myself so and uh, you know this was the first time that i've uh, had such a huge amount credited to my account in one go coming from a very middle class family uh the pocket money that i've had was always limited and it would always be limited in the start of the month and by the time i reached mid of the month there was no pocket money left so that somewhere uh, you know got me into that habit of not spending huge or not spending big but i think uh, as far as i remember when this amount was credited i'm an animal lover and i have a lot of pets at home as well so the first thing that i did was treat them give them a treat and i spent most of that money at home i kept some for myself no doubt i uh, went partying with my friends i enjoyed my own celebration and the rest of it i uh, give it to my dad so i'm pretty sure uh, he would have made some investments or you know some fds or something for the future's sake so uh, i think i i just played it safe there absolutely very very safe move uh palak for the audience for the our uh, viewers i want one last message from your end what message would you like to give it to the lot of aspirants we have here okay who've been watching this uh podcast so what message would you like to give it to them and say i want it very crisp to be very frank so if your closing notes or rather i would say your uh, this, this is basically the takeaways for all the students who are looking forward to become a student of the year or they need a direction over to you palak so the one major uh, message that i have for everyone all the students and young professionals who are watching this is you know there is this uh, concept of success being tangible it's a very personal thing when it comes to success and your success will always be defined differently than my success so what i suggest or what i really uh, want the students to understand is it cannot be measured and unless and until you feel you are successful you are not so don't get into that rat race wherein someone else's success becomes yours your success define it for yourself what you want how you want it and what are you capable of doing for it that is where you will be successful second message um, that i have for all of you is there is again you know this myth or a notion that to be successful you have to compromise a lot uh, or rather sacrifice uh, is the word that we often use that this success required a lot of sacrifices from this person but that's what it is it is just a notion you don't have to sacrifice or compromise to be successful as i said um, earlier that right balance of things right balance of everything that you are doing is what will get you successful so compromises sacrifices adjustments settlement they are good for life in general but they do not determine how successful you will be there's only two things that is one balance and second is adaptability so don't uh stop living or don't start compromising and sacrificing on things that make you happy because you want to be student of the year for me it is more like live more because you want to be student of the year that's it very well said palak i must say very well said thank you so much for joining us it was really indeed a great privilege to have you with us once again on the iri talks podcast powered by gibs business school bangalore and that's palak the student of the year 2023 thank you so much so i would request all the audience to stay connected for our next iri talks podcast thank you